news from around the state. 2025 is off to a poor start for California's snowpack. Amid dry conditions statewide, new measurements from the Department of Water Resources shows the state's snowpack is well below average for this time of year. But there is some good news. Capital correspondent Aton Wallace joins us from the Sierra Nevadas with a closer look. Well, there's good news and bad news. Let's start with the good news here at the Phillips Station, elevation 6,800 feet in the Sierra Nevada. It's snowing. It's been snowing since we got here this morning. But the bad news, based on the snow survey just conducted here, we'll need a lot more where this came from. Snow. It was a welcome sight for this California Department of Water Resources team as they conducted the second snow survey of the season. The results showing California snowpack stands at 65% of average for this time of year and 40% of the historical statewide April 1st average. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, it's not good. Andy Rising is the California Department of Water Resources Snow Surveys and Water Supply Forecasting Manager. He helped facilitate the measurements here at the Phillips Station. Per his results, the snow water content in this area stands at 8 inches and the snow depth stands at 22 and a half inches. That's significant because the depth of the snow tells us how deep it is, while the snow water content tells us how much water it contains. Water that will eventually flow to reservoirs, agricultural areas, and your faucet. Rising says it's all the more significant amid mostly dry conditions over the last few weeks, all part of a month that saw record and deadly wildfires in Southern California and just a few days of rain and snow in Northern California. We had a little bit of precipitation, very little in January, and then like a, last week we had a teeny bit, and that's it for all of January. And January and February, March, December, those are our four months where we really hope to get a lot of precipitation. And with a whole month with practically zero precipitation throughout the whole state, it set us way back. Way back, he says, noting some places are faring worse than others. Data from the state shows the snowpack in the northern Sierra stands at 89% of average for this time of year, while the central Sierra is much less at 58%, and the southern Sierra is even worse at 47%. But with help from Mother Nature and this fresh snow, Rising is hopeful for a turnaround. If we didn't have this storm, I would feel a whole lot worse. Let's say that. It's falling. And it's, it's something. It's a big change from what we've had the last month. And that's what we need. And the California Department of Water Resources will conduct a snow survey at the beginning of each month through April. We should have a much better idea about the state's long-term snowpack outlook then. Reporting at the Phillips Station, elevation 6,800 feet, Aton Wallace, 17 News.